Hi fuck buckets. Don't know what just happened. Feel like I broke something. I swear to god, this stuff is so good. Just imagine like toast with butter in it and then sprinkle it with salt. Or, like I don't know man, it's like a lot of people say it smells like cat food, but I'm not gonna lie, like cat food smells like way better than this. I don't know man, it just smells like yeast. What the fuck does yeast smell like? I don't know. It smells like marmite. What am I expecting for tonight's episode? If you know me, you probably know that my expectations have gone like below low. You know, imagine if Lexa got buried, my expectations would be like below Lexa's body right now. I'm hoping to see like way more of Luna. I kind of think that this will be the last episode that Luna's in. So I think they're gonna leave the oil rig this um, episode as well. I don't think Luna's gonna die because who the fuck will kill her, seriously? I don't think that she'll take the chip, but I think she'll give them a lot of insight on what to do with the chip. Anyway, the episode starts in three minutes, so let's do this. What's this episode called? I feel like the title will probably be important. It starts the same as the last episode. Red sky of morning. Hmm. Don't know about that. It just sounds very twilight. I can't actually hear you. Might be too drunk for this. It's too loud now. How does she know that someone's unchained? It's Indra unchained. Oh yeah, Indra's unchained. Indra's a fucking great fighter. She just, she just killed someone. Alright, why not? Wait, so Indra and Murphy and Pike are like gonna fight in the backpack? What? Now it's actually being nice to Murphy? Your father would be proud? Remember last episode? <laughs> it's really strange to like see them in such modern clothes. I guess it wouldn't be modern for them, right? Because it's like these clothes are all like 2016 and it's like 2102 or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck the year is. <gasps> Wait, is it Shay? No, she sounds really cute. They're also used to fighting. I feel like the bow clan is like. Might be the complete opposite. With the fact that they live in an oil rig. Like excluded from everyone else. Exactly. They're all about peace. She would be a good commander in that way. I like Harper and Monty happening right now. Because if so, it's really weird to me. I also really hope that Harper's like getting a bigger role. What? I don't know if I like this. This is really weird to me. I kind of like it. Shit! What if she's gonna do that? What if she's gonna put the chip into her hand? They need a plan. Like, it's, it's just... <laughs> to me, it's really out of character that Clark doesn't have a plan B somehow. That she's so determined on getting this chip into Luna. But I mean, what would be the other choice? This is so weird to me! Harper and Monty? But they're both so gay! My gay they are so off. <laughs> Finally. Finally? As if she knew, like, whoever fucking expected this. Like, Harper and Monty? I mean, like, finally they both got laid because they never did before. Coming home now. We're coming home now. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, that little girl looks so much like Lexa. Look, it's just a tiny Lexa. Why is she smiling? Me too. Yes. Oh. She was working toward peace. Blood must not have blood. You can finish what she started. I have peace right here. Luna, the flame is your birthright. Take it. 
You know, Luna's very similar to Alexa in that way. Except Luna already has peace with her few people. Alexa actually like wants peace for all her people. Oh shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Like, first of all, that scene was like really badly done. They screwed up so much potential in that one scene. Like, it could have had so much action, but they just, like, it looked so stupid. Second of all, what the fuck? Luna had to kill her brother? Third of all, she was supposed to kill Lexa and she, were, she probably would have been able to kill Lexa so she fled. Well, like, why? Why? What? Thank you, Luna, for not killing Lexa, but what? I'm not gonna lie. When I talked about Lexa, I almost cried. Why am I, Why do I still get so emotional over Lexa? I've never loved a character as much as I love Lexa. Like, what the fuck, though? So Luna was fine with killing her brother, but she couldn't kill Lexa? Are they suggesting that Luna and Lexa were like a thing? Because I don't know how I feel about that, man. What? This fucking random? Wait, why is Ellie there? Wait. What? No! They have Lexa! How is Ellie there? Who the fuck took the chip? Wait, Shay didn't just die, right? She's just new? What? Why the fuck did they chip think the fucking chip? How did they even get the chip? They're on a fucking oil rig in the middle of nowhere. Like, did Jaha fucking deliver some chips to a fucking oil rig in the middle of nowhere? <sighs> well, that was unexpected. I don't know what the fuck Raven's doing. But... Either way, she's probably like doing the right thing. Raven's probably saving them all right now, because otherwise there's no hope. <laughs> Go Raven! Oh, what? Monty's mom is talking to Monty through a computer while she's dead. And I see Clark just, just like ring Alexa up. I know she's probably not great with social media, but you know, just try. Online dating. Alexa's so. Innovative. Is he gonna do it? Oh. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> that was so awkward. Like Raven's little hand on um, Monty's shoulder. Come on, Raven. It's not gonna work. It's gonna stop somehow. Ah. It was so badly edited. It just stopped all of a sudden. I mean, y'all took the chip, so. I mean, if you took the chip, you can't be that smart to start with, so. Your hair is on fire! Oh, it's Shay. It's Shay, the funny hole. Should have worn a bulletproof vest, man. Wait, did she? Did she just die? I thought she was going to have a more important role. I don't think Luna's going to take it though. They could have done this so much better if they just had more build up. Like music and stuff. They're not like making it very surprising or unexpected. I feel like this episode is really different from the other ones. Like the editing is, is I don't know if it's just me, but it, to me it feels way worse. I feel like this could have 
possibly been emotional for us viewers if there had been more build up like right now it's just like a new character crying over another new character who we don't know and don't care about they could have worked with like the music cutscenes and all of that shit but they didn't it's a lot of like wasted potential what? We no. Wait, where's Clark right now? No, please, Lexa, like be in there. Oh, thank fucking god. Okay, so now what the fuck is gonna happen? What was the whole purpose of Luna being there? If nothing else is gonna happen with Luna, there's literally no purpose to her entire character. Now what exactly? That entire episode was 100% useless. What even fucking happened in this episode that is relevant for the next episode? Who the fuck's gonna take the chip? What's gonna happen to the chip? The chip's completely useless because they have not, no one with black blood. There's probably people who don't agree with me that it was completely useless. So please comment down below. Like, what was the use of, of Luna's character? Like, please. Tell me what the fucking news was because I have no idea. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next week. Bye fuck buckets. Bye. Is there something stuck between my feet? I feel like there is. Is there?